Do you think when Herman Lay created the Lay's potato chips, he thought they would be a chip off the old block? Lay's potato chips were introduced in 1940. Herman Lay, the man who acquired the potato chip company, made them famous, made them the Frito-Lay Corporation, and, and the potato chips that I and you and everyone around the world, well, maybe not around the world, because here in the U.S., we are one of the very few countries that call these Lay's potato chips. Other countries call these Walkers, Smiths, and Hostess. Now, Lay's may have been introduced, acquired, whatever, by Herman Lay, but right now they're owned by one of the largest corporations in the world, the PepsiCo, Pepsi-Cola, the makers of Pepsi-Cola, and they're part of a whole conglomerate corporation. Interesting fun fact for everyone at home, Lay's was the first snack food company to buy commercial airtime on television. So these yellow bags, probably black and white, so these gray bags at the time were the very first snack food to be advertised to the American public, which is probably why most Americans think of Lay's when they think of potato chips. So on the pack here, we have a bunch of stuff. We have just, you know, the, the front is the Lay's red logo with the potato chip in the corner. Um, says on the bottom what they are. Potato chips. These are, just in case you didn't know what you were buying when you bought them in the store, potato chips. On the back, it shows you what they are. They are crispy and they are yummy. That's all you need to know about potato chips. Um, some other words I might use to describe potato chip besides crispy, yummy, uh, crispity, chocolatey, butterfinger. That's, that's a Fifth Avenue bar. No, the uh, potato chip, I would say salty, greasy, um, addicting? I think those are other words you can use for those. Also on the back, they have, this is a gluten-free food. Um, I'm pretty sure all potatoes are gluten-free. I'm not a food scientist. I mean, of course, of course I'm a food scientist. And it also says on the back, there's no artificial flavors, preservatives, or MSG in here. The ingredients are fairly simplistic and simple and, 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 and right to the point. So on the back of these, it just says potatoes. That's a good first ingredient vegetable oil, and salt. That's all it is. It's cut potatoes, put into a fryer, and salted once they are done. That's all you need in a potato chip. Three ingredients, uh, well technically four, they list the ingredients of what's in the vegetable oil, which I kind of like. They don't just say, here's your vegetable oil, uh, go do your own research. So let's open these Lay's potato chips. And they smell like a potato chip would. They smell oily, they smell fried, they smell fatty, they smell delicious. And if you look on the inside of this bag, you just see a little bit over like a handful size snack portion, which to me is perfect. Like if you're having a sandwich and you want uh, potato chips with it, normally I'm a fries person with a burger, but I do get upset when you go to a burger place and they give you chips instead of fries. To me, burgers and fries go together, but that's a different argument for a different time. This is just the perfect amount of chips while you're snacking, something to throw in your lunch bag, something to just have as a snack. Uh, you know, the shows, the snack guy. It's me. So I'm gonna get right into this and let's see what I think about Lay's potato chips. Now, first issue, which is probably not really an issue, but it happens with every potato chip is they're all crushed. It's going to happen. They're very paper thin slices of potato that are thrown into a bag with air in it. You're not going to keep a full size. It's, it's rare when you do get a bag of potato chips and you get a full size slice of potato. I have noticed that happens more when you order or you buy potato chips that are store brands instead of the Lay's or the name brand items, which I kind of find weird but I wonder if that's because they're made locally so there's less shipping. These are probably made in one place in central of the United States and they're shipped everywhere. So shipping equals crushing, but uh, yeah, they're a Lay's potato chip. It's classic for a reason. They're ultra salty, they're ultra potatoey, 
And the reason why I like Lay's over any other potato chip is because of how thin they are. You get some potato chips um, and they're going to be thicker. Now, one issue with having a very thin potato chip, you can't really dip these. A Lay's aren't meant for dipping. Here is actually one of my favorite things. I love when the chip is a fold over. So it's, you know, it's, it's like a double chip. It's a, it's an extra crunchy potato chip. And also Lay's are always smaller. I don't know if they use smaller potatoes or what, but you don't have to open your mouth wide. You don't have to break it in half. They're usually bite size potato chips that are going to be amazing. For a baseline snack, a potato chip that is just across the board, a plain potato flavored, salt flavored item, I 100% stand behind Frito, no, I'm sorry, these aren't Fritos. I 100% stand behind the Lay's potato chips and give them five potatoes, five out of five potatoes. These are just a top tier snack to me. This is, you know, you go to the store, you get yourself a bag of chips, you get Lay's. You see this yellow bag, you get Lay's. Occasionally, I do cheat on Lay's a little bit. Don't, don't tell the boy the chip. I do get Oots. Oots is, um, I, I would say Oots was always a regional brand for me growing up here in New Jersey and having family that lived out in Pennsylvania. So Oots was always a hometown classic, if you will. But if you're going across the U.S. or you're going to a school vending machine or a vending machine in the hospital, you're going to see this yellow bag right there. And this is why it's a top tier snack. This is why it gets five potatoes out of five. And this is why Lay's potato chips are just amazing. Uh, hit me up in the comments below. And until next time, I'm Ivan Han, the snack guy. Why don't you go enjoy a bag of Lay's and a snack? Thank you so much for watching The Snack Guy. Do me a big favor, like, comment, and subscribe. Also, while you're at it, follow us on social media. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up and, and the bell and all the other things YouTube wants you to do.